In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Glory be to the Father who created us, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Son who redeemed us, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us and confirms us in the holy Catholic and Orthodox faith, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices, so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. For the salvation of souls and the conversion of many. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. When they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or period that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. For the souls of the departed, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. 
for you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, living in Jerusalem, and at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speak in the native language of each. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, this man you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law, this Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. For the faithful witness of all Christians to the world, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. 
For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Dormition of the Theotokos. At your departing, O Virgin, Mother of God, to him who was ineffably born of you, James, the first bishop of Jerusalem and brother of the Lord, was there, and so was Peter, the honored leader and chief of the disciples and the whole sacred fellowship of the apostles. Though dispersed throughout the world, clouds caught the apostles up into the air, and they were brought together to form a single choir before your most pure body. And bearing you with reverence in Gethsemane, they sang aloud the words of Gabriel, Rejoice, O full of grace, O unwedded virgin, the Lord is with you. Entreat your Son and our God to save our souls. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of the covenant was seen within his temple. For good and peaceful death, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. <clears throat> the fifth glorious mystery, the glorification of Mary in heaven and her holy protection. Let us gloriously sing David's song to the young bride, to the mother of Christ our God and the King of all. O Master, the Queen stood at your right hand, 
clothed in golden robes and adorned with celestial beauty. You have affirmed her, chosen from among women, and deigned to be born of her because of your great mercy. You have given her as a help to your people, to build up and protect your servants from all misfortunes, O only blessed one. Let us praise the Immaculate Queen of all, the most pure Virgin, the Mother of Christ our God, for she always mercifully extends her hands to her Son. Let us fervently sing to her, rejoice of protection, defense, and salvation of our souls. For greater devotion to Mary and eternal happiness in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. It is truly right to bless you, O God-bearing One, as the ever-blessed and immaculate Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim. Ever a virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. We flee to the shelter of your mercy, O Virgin Mother of God. Do not reject our prayers of anguish, but free us from tribulations, O only pure and blessed one. Most glorious ever virgin, Mother of God, receive our prayers and bring them to your Son and our God, that through you he may save our souls. All you heavenly powers, holy angels and archangels, pray to God for us sinners. Holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all you saints, pray to God for us sinners. The Father is our hope, the Son our refuge, the Holy Spirit our protection. O Holy Trinity, glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, and of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. to be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and ever. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well 
queen of God's holy churches, and for a unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our most holy universal Pope, Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most blessed Patriarch Setus Law, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, the reverend priest of the Aquinas in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our nation and their God, for our government and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for a peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for a salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save from mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Sing now to his name, give glory to his praise. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Say unto God, how awesome because of the greatness of your strength, your enemies will flatter you. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, our Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and sing to you. Let it sing to your name, O Most High. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save the mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember in our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord. 
glory, you are a good and loving God, who give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Bless, Master, the time of the thrice holy hymn. For you are God, our holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. And ever.
Pēc tām lētās bija tentē. Kīmēn in the sixth tone, save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Unto you I will. Lest you turn from me in silence. of the Apostles. In those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community and the dis of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the spirit and of wisdom, who, may, who we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Protrus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The numbers of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem. And a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Peace be with you and the dear reader of the Apostles. With the song, let us be attentive. of Mercy and truth have met Righteousness and peace have embraced. Bless the reading of the Gospel of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Mark. May God, through the intercession of the Holy Glorious, now praiseworthy Apostle and Evangelist Mark, grant that you proclaim the good news of the great power for the fulfillment of the Gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, stand aright. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord, 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 L
Commonwealth of Arimathea, are respected members of the Council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the Kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to, Jesus, to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth and taking down the body, wrapped in the linen cloth and laid it in a tomb that had been fallen out of the rock. He then wrote a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw that the body was light. When the Sabbath was all over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salom, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb. When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a whole robe, sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed but he, had to, he said to them, Do not be afraid, alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. No, no, Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. I still can't hear all of you, all those of you who are streaming from home. I should be able to hear you with that response because we are people of the resurrection. And so when I say Christ is risen at home, you should be saying, indeed he is risen, so that your neighbors could hear, that the community could hear that those who are not watching in your house could come to the TV and watch because Christ is risen. We are people of the resurrection and we need to find joy and we need to proclaim that Christ is risen and truly believe it. We say truly he is risen, but do we truly believe it in our hearts that he is risen and conquered death by death? and offering to those in the tombs life, that he offers us life. You know, Father Peter gave me a great gift this week. He, uh, he asked me to preach this week, and so all week I was uh, preparing my homily, and uh, uh, lo and behold, yesterday he sends me the bulletin, and in the bulletin are two beautiful reflections on today's gospel. And I'm reading them, 
And I'm going, but this is what I was going to preach on tomorrow. <laughs> and it's there in the bulletin. I invite you, for those of you who can pick up a bulletin here or those of you at home, to uh, go on the website and open up the bulletin and read the readings from today at home and read the reflections that are there for they are very inspirational and speak to us about the myrrh-bearing women and what we celebrate on this Sunday. So what I did after I got home from Vespers last night was to take a different approach. And I did something that I believe that uh, you can do at home at this time where we can't come together as a, as a praying community in the church. I did what's called Lexio Divina. And what I did was I read over the text of the gospel. And having read over it, I sought, thought to myself and I picked out one word that really spoke to me that was in that text. And that's what you do when you do Lexio Divina. You read the text and meditate and find one word that, that came forth to you from, from the reading of that scripture. And then you sit and you have time then to meditate upon that word and then expand it into a sentence that spoke to you from that reading and see how God speaks to your heart. And what came out to me in the reading was how the myrrh-bearing women had such courage had such faith. They got up, they were, and when we hear all the readings for Easter, that they were in a distance, away, watching the events that took place. And so they were there at the time of our Lord's crucifixion. And they were there when Joseph of Arimathea took down his body from the cross and took it to the tomb. And they followed him to see where the body would be laid. And then they went home. And early in the morning, they went to complete because the body was taken down from the cross. And quickly, the rite of burial and the anointing was done very quick because it needed to be done and completed before the Sabbath, before sunset. And so they went back after the Passover to go and anoint the body. Not knowing what to expect, they went early in the morning with fear. They went early in the morning, perhaps to be hiding from the authorities because they would be um, perhaps arrested. And they were fearful that who was going to move the stone away from the grave so that they might be able to anoint the body. They knew it had to be done because they wanted to give our Lord a proper burial. And so they had this fear that the, that the rock, the stone would prevent them from uh, anointing the body. And they rounded the corner and lo and behold, the angel of the Lord had rolled away the, stu the stone. And so that fear that they had of how they would get there was, was removed. And then they heard the words from the angel that he has risen. And so I spent many hours, actually, most of the night reflecting on, on that point, is that uh, the stone was removed by the angel. What prevents us from serving the Lord? What is the stone that is there by the tomb of our heart and the tomb of our soul that we are fearful of serving our Lord? Are we fearful that if we proclaim that the Lord is risen, that somebody might mock us, that somebody make, might make fun of us? Are we afraid that uh, we need to ask for forgiveness for things that we have done in our lives? for bitterness and resentment and hatred that we hold towards somebody else? Is that the stone that prevents us from going to the tomb and experiencing the risen Lord? What is it in our life? Is it the quest for money, for power? Is it the quest that we want to be um, big in society or we don't want others to, uh, um, to speak ill of us in some manner? 
Is that the stone that prevents us from proclaiming that Christ is risen? When we move that stone away from our heart, when we come to that realization, when we receive the sacrament of confession, when we can and once again receive the sacrament of the Eucharist, that stone has been removed from us and we can then proclaim that Christ is risen and we become the myrrh-bearing women, proclaiming the message to the world. We may be in our homes right now, in our tombs, not being able to come out, but it does not mean that we can't have the same experience right now of the myrrh-bearing women who went and proclaimed the good news, who spoke to others. We can reach out with a phone call to somebody and say to them that Christ is risen. We can look if there's somebody who needs help and go deliver groceries, and when we do that, we are being the mirror-wearing women. When we come and find a way to grow in our faith, to read our Bibles, to spend time in prayer with our Lord, we become the mirror-wearing women. Because it says in the reading today that they will rejoice. We are people of the resurrection, and we need to rejoice. Rejoice in our difficulties of life, rejoice in our suffering, and rejoice in the joys that we have in our life. The church is this building, and the church is the body of Christ. So the church, this place of worship that we come and we pray and we long for to, become, to come together as a praying community again, which hopefully soon will happen, is a place of great joy. But also the church is all of us. The church is the people of God, and all of us are the church. And we must proclaim that message of the church and find the way to serve the church in how God has called us. In this time that you have together with your families, do not look at this as a time of, of burden, but look at the joys God gives us to be able to spend more time with our children to take away the worries of, of uh, work every day and going there perhaps and, and struggling with that, it gives us some time to quiet ourselves, to go to the empty tomb of our hearts and find how we can be the mirror-bearing women, to, to find out how we can hear from the angel the message that was spoken to him, that he is risen. Indeed, Christ is risen. He has conquered death for all of us, for each of us, and we must live our lives as people of joy, as people of the resurrection, as the mirroring women did after they experienced that, going out and proclaiming his message to all those they encountered. Do people know we are Christians because we proclaim that we are people of the resurrection and that we love God? Or is it something that we hide inside of us? We are the messengers of his gospel today. And the world will only know it through our actions, through our love, through our faith, through us bringing the word of God that he is risen to the world. Let us sing that out as loud as we can. Open your windows, open your hearts, open your doors, and proclaim to the world that Christ has risen. Amen. Let us all say with our own soul and our own mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatest of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. We also pray for our most holy and universal Pontiff Francis Papa Frog, for our most blessed Patriarch Svetoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, 
for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and for all the military. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for a peace. We also pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Don Price, who, who has fallen asleep and for a forgiveness of his offenses, voluntary and involuntary, that the Lord God may place her, his soul where all the just repose. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await you, great and bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us and for our Lord to those Christians. Peace, let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. So that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all your talks, Christians, always, now, and forever and ever. 
May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, our most blessed pa patriarch, Sitislav, our most reverend metropolitan, Lawrence, our God-loving bishop, David, all the priestly, the and religious orders, our nation and our God, our government and all the military, the noble and ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church, and of all you Orthodox Christians in all times and always and forever and ever. May the Lord God remember your priesthood in his, in his kingdom. Pray for me, my fellow minister. The, Lord, and the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will rush out of you. May the Holy Spirit act together with all the days of our lives. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gift that have been presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. so that we may be of one mind, confess The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, life from life to true God and true God, begotten without me, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified by the Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. Let us lift up our
singing, crying, exclaiming and saying the triumphal hymn. gave his holy disciples an apostle saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. covenant which poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Master, bless the holy chalice. And that which is in the chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Master, bless them both. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for the communicate sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational and bloody worship for those who have gone to the rest in faith. Forefathers, fathers, mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that has finished its life and faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed, glorious Lady, the Mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary.
Omnifresh, remember our Lord, our most holy, universal Pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most blessed Patriarch, the Slaw, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop, David, our pastor, Father Peter, for the sake of your holy church, has granted that we live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember, O man, and go And grant with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gift which have been presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Receive them as a spiritual fragrance upon his holy heaven in mystical altar. May send down on us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Help and save for mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. That his own name may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Lord. O angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for a peace for the whole world, let us ask the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian and to our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of yours and tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. For unity of the faith and for a fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, that they are calling you the Heavenly God, Father, and down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads to you, for they have not bowed them down to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the ways that lie before us all, for our good, and in accord with each one's personal need. Say, O to seafarers, travel to travelers, heal the sick opposition of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Come to sanctify us, you who are seated on high with the Father and are invisibly present here with us. 
deign to give to us with your mighty hand, your most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all your people. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive. Holy things for the holy. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. From the dead, and to the tomb, Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in this most holy mystery. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you enter and abide within me, and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and body, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen. Bless. 
blessed be God, always, now, and forever and ever. Christ is risen. Christ is risen from the dead. And the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, in life, giving us the mysteries of Christ. Let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Help and save and mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having us that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. We thank you, O Master, lover of mankind and benefactor of our souls, that even today you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, make us all firm in fear of you. Protect our, our lives and secure our steps through the prayers of this and supplications of the, of the glorious Mother of God and our Virgin Mary of all your saints. For you, our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who open you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation under God, through our government and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Christ is risen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, o Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of Saint Joseph, out of whom this church is named, and of the mirror-bearing women whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints who will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Christ is risen. We rejoice as a community, and uh, though we may not all be together as a church, we're all united in prayer. And so we uh, uh, 
Uh, we send out our best wishes for those who are celebrating their birthdays or anniversaries this, this week to Natalie uh, Hannes, Catherine Wojciechowski, Boyd Leader, Sonia Wojnowski, uh, Zofia Salapata, Zenia Burin, and to all who celebrate a, uh, a milestone in their life today, let us wish them God's many blessings and many, many happy years. As we end our celebration, we sing, Christos was Christ, Christ is risen, let us sing it so the entire world hears us. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs.
Christ the 